A restoration of the Bear River Massacre site is underway today as some 400,000 invasive trees will be removed. And it's all part of a process that the Northwestern Band of the Shoshone call a healing of the land. But as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, it, also, it is also getting some international attention from environmentalists. Just one of these Russian olive trees can take in about 75 gallons of water a day. And so when you consider that there are about 400,000 of them out there, that's a lot of water they're taking out of the river stream. This is just a first step of restoring the land to what it once was before. What is sacred should be treated with care. A blessing on the land and on workers who will spend dozens of hours here. Brad Perry. Hey, thank you so much. Is grateful to have this day draw the attention of state leaders from both Utah and Idaho. We think it bonds us together. We think that those those spiritual blessings create a community. Where the Utah Conservation Corps will be tearing down hundreds of thousands of invasive Russian olive trees. A first step in returning these traditional wintering grounds to what they would have looked like before the Bear River Massacre in 1863. It's overwhelming. I mean, it really is overwhelming. It's, uh, it was a good day today. It's about healing the land and healing hearts. The feeling on the land is beginning to change to one of peace and happiness, whereas before it was a lot of sorrow. Around 150,000 native trees and plants will be put back and some 13,000 square acre feet of water sent into the Great Salt Lake once more. It's an approach that's now gaining some international attention. It was well received. It was something that they probably never heard a lot of. Former tribe chair Darren Perry is back from Denmark, where he was invited to share indigenous wisdom to a room full of environmental scientists. All the science in the world isn't going to solve selfish behaviors. And I think the indigenous perspective on how we live our life will help uh, craft the policy going forward. The fact that people are watching is bringing hope that all of us can take more personal responsibility for the environment. This is a really important day for us. Well over six million in grants and other funding has been raised for this phase of the project, but the tribe is still looking for about another five million to help put in an interpretive center on the bluff up above the site. Mike Anderson for Live at Five.